I and I back in the building. Quando Rondo. Let's talk about it. So everybody already know what happened with Quando Rondo getting shot at and his friend Lil Pap getting killed in California. And um, I mean, nobody really knows the real issue of what happened. Nobody at hand. Anybody who's speaking out as far as vloggers saying that they know what happened and things like that, they don't. Trust me, they don't. Um, in order for you to even know remotely of anything like that, it has to be someone that was there to actually speak out. You understand what I'm saying? Whether it was is, is Quando himself, or maybe it was another passenger there, or maybe it was a witness that want to speak on it. But even in that, you still don't know what made that or what what carried that. Or created that situation you just don't know unless Quando himself come out and say hey this is the reason why this happened and you know I'm pretty sure he's not about to do that you know that's that's a part of the cold street code or whatever so he's not about to do that I don't I mean at least I don't think he's about to do anything like that so any any vloggers coming out saying yeah um this is what happened this is why it happened and things like that they don't know trust me they don't know you know it's just like um the situation with him and, and the girl well, she was supposed to have snatched the money from from it from his girl at a at a crap game whatever she said Quando was disrespecting her whatever so she grabbed some money from his girl and left and you know it, it was some thousands of dollars you know what i'm saying but uh, unless somebody like that like what she did she came out and spoke on it and stuff like that and as we didn't even even know anything like that happened in the background you feel me but she came out with it you know what i'm saying and you know he basically admitted to to it by by reacting to it you, you see what i'm saying so stuff like that that's the only way you'll actually know like the background of what really happened you feel what i'm saying so but my thing, my take on it is, for you to be uh, rocking as a as a sixty, as a rolling sixty or whatever, for you to be rocking that, and you end up in California, things like that don't just transpire. Like this is California, I know gang shit all the time. Trust me. But at the same time. Things like that don't get carried out on an out-of-towner. Like someone had to know that you were there and someone had to know that this is the right time to try to make a hit. Someone had to get actually get together and ride around with these sticks. You understand what I'm saying? Because you gotta, you gotta also realize that California has a very, very strict gun law. Even though it is a lot of gun violence in California, California, especially LA, has a very strict gun law. You get caught with a gun, you're damn near out of there. You feel what I'm saying? So, because you're not supposed to walk around with concealed weapons and things like that. So, just imagine a bunch of gang members just riding around and just happen to get lucky and see Quando Rondo. You see what I'm saying? Like they was out hunting and they just happen to get lucky and, and, and see quantum that don't happen like mysteriously and magically that does it just don't happen you feel what i'm saying these guys had to be either out already hunting for other uh gang members they already out hunting for other for other um ops or whatever you want to call it and they just happen to stumble across quando you see what i'm saying that had to happen that way in order for this not to be something planned and carried out. 
This is what you have to understand about the streets. And and who knows that he's there? Well, we don't know where he went before he made it to the gas station. We don't know if he rode around through the neighborhoods, um, you know, flaunting or, 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 you know, fronting. We don't know what he did before that incident happened. He could have targeted himself. He could have put a target on his own bike by riding through the wrong neighborhood. You see what I'm saying? And somebody spotted him and they just hurried up and jumped in the whip and, you know, rolled around looking for him. You see what I'm saying? And got lucky that they found him or whatever. We don't know. But the thing about that is for that to take place, even for that to take place, these had to be some, some very on it type of guys. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, like look, here go Quando Rondo. That's that's that dude. You know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody get stitched together, get in the car, let's go, let's go find these niggas. You see what I'm saying? You still have to plan it out. You still have to like be like, okay, if, if we do this shooting on this dude and we kill him, but we gotta really get away with this. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of tough to do. Especially when you just riding around looking for somebody, especially like an out of town, or you just riding around looking for him, and he just happened to be in a random spot. But you have to take this random hit, hopingly that you, you know you randomly get away. You know what I'm saying? Like, who does that for real? You feel me? So we don't know exactly, like, you know, from 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 somebody knowing he's there to somebody you know telling him what area to be in or you see what i'm saying like you know it's it's, it's crazy but and then you you hearing things about bike door now let me tell you something everything ain't a bike door we keep telling y'all this everything is not a bike door even though you may have to you know think about that but at the same time, everything is not a bite dope. You feel me? It's like, yeah, it's possible that he, you know, he made it in town and he made himself known in town and he thought whoever he had as a connect in town, they may have, you know, gotten word from somebody else or one of his ops, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we're going to pay you this or that or whatever if he make it, ever make it done try to connect with y'all do his ass or whatever but you know that's 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 a strong one you understand what i'm saying that's a very strong one I'm, I'm, i mean especially if he's paying his dues now if he's paying his dues and, and we don't know we just don't know so these are all possible you know motives of how this thing can happen but I tell you one thing, man. I don't know, but if you if you ain't never been on a crime scene and seen a family scream their heart out, man, that that scream that you heard from that boy, man, that that was a scream of you know that you know you you know a soul just left his body. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's some heavyweight shit. That's some heavyweight shit. Like seriously, like you just know that this person just you know what I'm saying? They they, they they with you. Y'all supposed to be riding out of town, you know what I'm saying? Just doing y'all thing and this pop up and it's not even just an accident no more or an incident. You see what I'm saying? Like a body has been created out of this situation. You see what I'm saying? A soul has left, you see what I'm saying, out of this situation. Like this person, front, a funeral has to be prepared for this person now. You see what I'm saying? Like things like like this body has to go back to its hometown. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like things like that. Like, these are tough situations. You know what I'm saying? That's some heavyweight shit that you have to think about. And I know all of this probably just rent went like straight through his head, like all at one time. Like, God damn, like you feel me? You just lost a friend. You just, and then you have to think about how this person just got to get his body back to his hometown, 
you know, funeral with his family, you know, his family, what his family going to say about it and, you know, how his family going to feel about the situation and how you got to, like, talk to these people and, you know, like, just all this crazy stuff that you have to deal with knowing what just took place. All of that just going to rush you, like, like a quick thought, but it's going to be some heavyweight shit, you feel me? So, man... Hey man, R.I.P. man. I hate saying that shit. That's why y'all don't really hear me say that as much. But R.I.P. the little pap man and um, shit, Quando man, big ups man. I hope you um can, you know, see yourself through this shit, bro. It's a part of the streets. It's a part of the streets. I know you just want to do your music thing, but it's a part of the streets, bro. This this. You know, everything that you create and put out in the atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? This 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 is a part of that shit, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Just hold your head up and you know what I'm saying? Get through this and keep it rocking, bro. That's the only thing you can do. Get through this shit and keep it rocking, bro. And hold your people close to you, man. That's all you can do, man. I ain't I, man. I'm out, man. Till the next one, bro.